This here is Jim Bob McLean, one part of the Whiskey Drinkers. Uh, Clint's not here right now, but this video is about something I don't think Clint cares too much about. So I'm going to break this down for you. Now, let me explain this first. Now, I got a little, I ran into a little bit of money. How did I run into a little bit of money? It's all legal and stuff. Um, as some people know, I'm a male stripper, uh, not a, you know, for women. I'm a male stripper for women. I'm like a Chippendale, you know what I mean? I've uh, been that for a while, ever since we lived in Alaska. It's just a little thing I do. It's YouTube. A lot of people think we get all this money. We don't get a damn penny from this. Uh, you know, basically got to pay the bills by doing my stripping jobs and odd jobs here and there. So point is, I got this, uh, my, my one friend, Vinny, he told me about this cruise that was happening. So I could go on this cruise, and I went on the cruise, and it was a month long, and I did my little stripper routine every night, well, three times a day, and uh, ended up being pretty nice. It was for older women and stuff. If any of you ladies are watching, how you doing? We had a great time, didn't we? All right, so anyways, came off of that, got myself a nice little check. So I paid my rent off and stuff, ended up getting this little prize down here. Now, whew, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, this is an unboxing, but... I'm not going to lie, I unboxed it a while, I had it for maybe a week, uh, maybe a couple weeks. But anyways, we're going to pretend like I'm unboxing it right now. So you guys already read the description, let's get down to it. Let's do a super slow-mo, okay? we have here is we have Johnny Dang and Co. Um, fine custom jewelry. Now, uh, some people say jewelry, I say jewelry. Now, the point is, this thing, uh, not the point, I gotta say, the aesthetics of this is pretty nice. Uh, right here, it's an orange Halloween type of thing. You've got the black on orange on the side. You got the Johnny Dang little uh, watermarks, if you will. Nice bag, pretty nice bag. Um, now, I've got another bag from them, different color. Let's get into this. Now, what's in here? Right. That's what you end up getting. Let's see what's in here. Let's unwrap it. Oh, man. I haven't seen this yet. Let me see. What's in here? What could possibly... Oh, wow! Right there. It is a gold grill. It is a uh, bottom six, 14-karat uh, gold right there. Uh, it's even stamped. And right there is my ugly... My ugly teeth right there, right? Uh, I guess they put that on there. I don't know why. Maybe for spacing or something. Make sure it fits. Now, when I got this thing, this thing, I mean, it snaps right on there, right? This thing fit perfectly. Even to this day, after wearing it, I wear it every single day. Oh, man, it fits perfectly. It fits perfectly on there. Not a problem. Not a problem talking. Now, I'm going to my, I'm going to my story here in a little bit. But look at that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I have that set that up on my mantle, whatever the hell the mantle is. Um, all right, so babe, got a nice little box. What comes in here? I'll go through what the whole process was too. All right, so what comes in here is you got a little book with different grills and stuff. Uh, you know, Johnny Dang T-shirt and stuff. Pretty cool. You get a uh, the Dang deal of the week. So Johnny Dang's doing so well, he can print these up weekly. So you see the different deals, different diamonds and golds and stuff. Pretty cool. And right here is, this is what came initially with it. Now, when you first get this, you gotta get the molding kit comes first to you. So you order the molding kit, it comes in the mail, you uh, mold it. Now what's that molding kit look like? Basically, it's one of these little mouth retainer things. And inside of there, there's uh, this goo. Uh, putty, putty, I think is what you call it. I call it goo. Some people call it putty. Bang. I got one in here that I messed up. Let's pull this out. It's got the goo inside of it. Putty. Um, right there, as you can see, my my teeth lining. Right now, uh, you know, I'm not very good at this. This was kind of lopsided. Uh, point is, I sent a couple in. I, th I think I sent one in. They gave you three. Sent one in. It was messed up. They told me right away, rather than doing some chintzy job or something, they ended up telling me I had to reorder a mold kit, which was, I got it cheaper. Ended up getting my mold right, but it was, it's a deal with getting it on there straight and not biting down too hard and all that stuff. So anyways, once you do this, it also comes with this paper. So you fill out your paper and then you send it in. 
and uh, you send these in, and bam, uh, they might get a hold of you depending on how custom it may be, but I don't think it took that long. It was all priority mail. It was pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, besides my mess up on the damn mold thing. So right here, this is my little receipt thing. Oh yeah, I got this, uh, it's been a little while. 416 is when I ordered it. Can't remember when I got it. Um, wasn't that long. Well, it was because I fucked up the thing. Anyways, the meadow is gold. Uh, didn't get no plating on it. I'll explain that later. Uh, 14 karat gold, no extended fangs, no diamonds. Uh, and then right here, you X out the teeth you want. And I put, I want 14K stamped on the grill because you got to do that or they won't do it. Now, I wasn't talking to Johnny Dang during this. <clears throat> I was actually talking to, uh, right here, Tony Khan. I got his card, K-H-A-N. Tony took care of me. Actually did. I explained some shit. Uh, really helped me out and stuff. Sent me in the right direction. I really wanted to get a stamp with the 14K. I'll show pictures or whatever. Um, and I didn't know that you have to actually ask for it. So anyways, you send that back. Shit comes in this. And that's where you get all this stuff. And uh, bam, you got yourself a grill. You got yourself some little teeth you can hold on to. You got yourself a nice Halloween style bag, which Halloween is my favorite holiday, so I'm pretty happy about that. Now, talking and stuff, I have no issue talking. Now, it's on my fangs. It's not on any of my uh, back teeth. My teeth are ugly as hell. Uh, my bottom teeth are surprisingly like nicer than my top teeth, but I got it for the bottom. I don't know what I'm thinking, but the point is, uh, it's not, the fangs don't mess with you, but if you get on these back teeth, your chewing teeth or whatever, that's where you got issues. That's where I want to show you something else. Now, a while ago, I got this. Another one. Bam. Now, this one's a little messed up and stuff. I'm going to have to send it in and get it remolded, do something weird with it. Um, I was thinking about two black teeth right here up front, so it looks like I don't have teeth. That'd be pretty cool. Point is, I got this a while ago. Let me pull this son of a bitch off of here. Now, the issue with this is, this was silver. And I'm going to explain to you about that. I've seen some videos up. There are some people, I'll put some links to some people uh, that I learned some things off of, right? But uh, I'm going to try to put all that information together into one thing. Uh, maybe do a cleaning video later. But point is, this was silver uh, plated with uh, gold, with yellow gold. <laughs> so the point is, with yellow, uh, with plating, what I didn't understand, what a lot of people don't understand, you can get all kinds of cool cut designs and all this stuff, which I think I just wanted the gold because at the end of the day, that cut stuff, I feel like it's going to get all dirty and stuff. I smoke cigarettes like a chimney. Uh, you know what I mean? So it's going to tarnish up. Now, I got these silvers. These are for right here. They don't fit no more. That's for right there. And teeth. Because my one tooth is messed up. That's why I got the back one. Now, the back one's the chewing one, and that's where... Maybe if I had one on this side, it'd be different, but your whole bite's messed up. At least mine was. Um, and this thing was kind of weird. Now, that's where I, what I want to say. I'm running all over the place. The plating. I got the gold plating thinking, oh, I get silver. Only spend a little bit of money getting me the plating. It'll look like it's gold. That's bullshit at the end of the day because what it is is silver ain't really made to be in your mouth like gold's made in your mouth. They'll put gold in your mouth, all that stuff. Having something in this, like this in your mouth, uh, first off, when I smoke cigarettes, this thing would tarnish like a motherfucker. Now, this right here, it doesn't tarnish. Uh, it tarnishes a little bit. You can shine her up. Uh, but this right here, I don't get black inside of it. I don't get black on the outside. This thing would get black all over it. One cigarette. If you're smoking that wacky tobacco all day or something, this thing is going to be all blacked up. And it's disgusting. So what did I do? I said, well, I'm going to polish it up. So I went to polish it, not realizing that the damn uh, coating comes right the hell off. So keep that in mind if you're ordering jewelry and stuff. Don't get no uh, coating on it unless you plan to get that coating fixed up all the time. You know, especially your teeth and stuff because that's going to wear off. So needless to say, and you can even see in this, I don't know if it's easy to see, but it's uh, you can see lines in it. It's just silver. Silver ain't good for the, it don't look as good. Silver's a lot cheaper, too. So why did I get the 14K rather than the 10K? Because you can get the 10K, too. Let's see here. I'll tell you right here. I'll tell you exactly why. All right. 14K equals to be 58.3% real, real gold inside of there because they do like a mix-up. I don't know what the other stuff is. Uh, so, bam, you got 
right there. That that is over half gold, right? I ain't no fucking rich guy. You know, I didn't want to go on that cruise for two months. I did it for one month and I ended up getting enough money to get this. So I'm happy for that, right? Now I could have 18 K is 75%. So that's a hell of a lot better. And 24 K is 99.9%. .9%. So, you know, and that, and that, as you guys might know, girls might know as gold gets a uh, higher in the K it gets softer because gold's a soft metal or whatever. And then, you know, as it goes down, you got this other stuff's making it harder. This right here's pretty hard. Um, see, oh, so we got 10K. That's 41.7K. So what I thought was, I'm going to spend that extra money and get me something that's actually a, at least half gold, a little over half gold. Not something, you know, not shitting on it, but right there with that, the more gold it is, the, the harder it'll be to tarnish it. This thing I smoke all the time, like I said, shine it up a little bit. It's good to go. Uh, don't get no crap up inside of it, uh, blackness or anything. So it's perfect. Uh, looking at it again, I would never go back to silver. Like I said, I might do something with this just so I can do something with it. But, you know, uh, so that's about it. I think that's pretty much my whole story here. It feels real nice. Like I said, my tongue feels nice against it. It feels good in my mouth. It feels like natural and like it should be there. Now, I didn't get the permanent perm cuts, which which makes it look like uh which makes it look like it's uh permanently cut in there which i think that stuff looks cool but that was like 125 dollars on top of whatever the hell it was so i said f that now uh in the future i'm thinking about maybe getting the top i'm not gonna do the whole top i don't know i'm gonna do something interesting with that but uh that's another cruise i'm gonna have to go and work at so we're gonna have to set that all up but uh you know as long as i can do that i'm gonna do that now i'm gonna do another video just so i can split this shit up and i'm getting winded here talking about all this stuff and i'm gonna do cleaning of this thing where i actually smoke some cigarettes i get it tarnished up and then i clean it and i'll show you guys how to clean it so uh i think that's about it got me a little book got me a little notebook right here trying to be a. Uh, let's see here i did that did that yep so basically what i'm trying to say to you is uh, just to sum this up if you're gonna get gold for your mouth and stuff definitely pay the extra money to get yourself the gold rather than the silver i, I don't think silver is meant to be in your mouth every time i smoke a cigarette i get this weird metal taste and stuff i don't think it's meant for your mouth uh maybe i was just reacting weird to it wasn't good for me right i never buy it again so don't get yourself a whole fucking mouth get yourself a bottle of real gold and uh you'll be a lot happier uh secondly uh i don't know about all the cuts and stuff but it, see here's the way i look at it the cuts are made to look like there's diamonds in there when there's not really diamonds in there so you're kind of faking the funk uh i'm not trying to fake the funk i just want some gold teeth slugs as they call them i think or maybe those are perm cuts hell i don't know there's not many uh videos about this stuff on the internet not a lot of information out there so i just wanted to do a little review and give any information that i found uh, i want to give a big shout out to tony khan down there at uh, johnny dang's i want to give a shout out to johnny dang and I'll give a shout out to Paul Wall, baby. That's Paul Wall. <laughs> what it do, baby? <laughs> that is a grill company I think is cool as hell. Um, just, uh, tr I think, uh, actually, I think their tooth price is actually a li little cheaper than the other places. Um, I feel like I'm going to get real gold there and stuff, and they're not going to sh shice me or whatever. Just, that's why I went with them. Seems like a tried and true company. Now, there's a guy named Alligator Jesus. Uh, I'll show up here. He does these, uh, the hell are they called? The hell's that called? Opal. He does opal grills, and I think that's cool as hell. This guy does all kinds of weird shit. Uh, <coughs> does uh, he uh, molds uh, buttholes and stuff and puts them on necklaces? Hey, I'm not saying I want one. I'm just saying it's pretty interesting. So check him out. Um, check out Johnny Dang. Check out the different grills and stuff. If you guys get a grill, hell, let me know. Send me a picture. Uh, put it down in the comments. I don't know what the hell to do. Put a video up of yourself. So. I'll see you guys next time. We'll do a cleaning up the grill. If you guys have any questions, put it down below. Maybe I can answer that shit in the next one. All right. Well, I'm shining on these motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, that's the thing, too. Uh, everybody does the, uh, they have a grill face, right? So here's my grill face. You ready? So whenever somebody, you know, you want to shine on them or whatever, here's my grill face. Right? So I'm at the bank or something. Somebody goes, oh, is that a grill? I go, yep, that is. Right. All right, guys. I'll see you later. And, uh, hey, I just want to say to all the fans out there, I don't think I'm better. I don't think I'm a better person because I got this. This is just something I wanted since I was a little kid. 
Um, my dad had got a couple of gold, like a gold tooth whenever I was growing up. Um, just something I always thought was cool. So don't judge me. I'm not going to judge you. We're all on the same level. You know what I mean? And if you guys get to grow out there, don't be walking around like you're better than somebody else because you're not. Somebody can snatch those right out of your fucking mouth. You're going to be just as fucking broke as they are. Well, they'll be more expensive richer than you are or whatever and another thing is the grills you got to keep in mind this is gold in my mouth and stuff but what i paid for this is not the price that it's worth right you, you get you look up the price of the weight of the gold and how much it's going for right now and that's how much it's worth trust me you're paying a lot more because it's a customized jewelry thing so keep that in mind you know what i mean and uh i, I don't know all that cliche shit people say about grills i'll see you guys later oh yeah hit that like and subscribe button you need to pay the damn rent about this damn group. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Six beats. Up all night, slaying beats in the morning, I go to sleep. Did this shit almost all my life, and I never did find a fate. Never did find that part of my mind that tells me I should stop this. I keep on making these goddamn rhymes. I think I may be an artist. Artist, keep making this garbage. Everybody's sleeping on me. I kick these rhymes with a new design. Let everybody know who I be. Jim Bob McClain on a crazy train and I puff it up on that weed. It calms me down. It chills me out. It makes me feel so free. Sometimes if you got a weird job or you got a nine to five job, you can't wear your grills at work. But you can wear them everywhere else. So you can take them with you. And you can put them on after work. Or you can wear them during work. Really, it's whatever you want to do. You know, my boss told me to take them out, but he didn't tell me I couldn't wear them. He said the same thing about my lip rings. He didn't tell me to take them out, but he didn't like them. You can wear your grills anytime, place, anywhere.